All right, here's a quick tutorial of how to, um, or how I play Clash of Clans, because um, a lot of my students play Clash of Clans. So what I want to do is just show how I do it, uh, just uh, also for my clans mates to uh, make sure they understand uh, basic tactics and strategy that I've learned over the years. Um, I'm going to rearm all my traps right now, but it all starts with building the right kind of troops and making sure you attack with the proper type of troops that you intend to attack with. Um, and being consistent so that you can uh, sometimes change up your style just to make sure um, of what works and what doesn't work. It's kind of like we were talking this year in fifth grade about independent variables. Well, I, I like to change only a few things at a time or one thing at a time so that I know what is and isn't successful for me. So um, in my clan castle, I am not picky. I don't care what I get. It's not important at all. Um, I actually prefer the cheap giants because they're, I like predictability. I like it to be a predictable mass of stuff. Um, but it's nice to get a healer. That means somebody in my clan was generous. So let's see um, how I plan to attack with this. Now, um, I made sure that I had exactly what I, what I like to have. I have about 16 giants. This is my standard build. 16 giants, 3 healers, 13 wizards, uh, 8 archers, 4 wall breakers, and 8 um, barbarians. Let's see what somebody said. No, there's nothing. Okay, it's just a letter. Sometimes I'm curious. So on battle day, what I'll do is I won't necessarily pick my recommended target, but these guys are pretty weak. And um, even if I get 2 stars, it's not a big deal. Um, I usually will attack for three stars, but in a situation here where it's 42 and 23, um, I don't think anybody will be mad if I aim for my recommended, um, because usually I will get two to three stars, uh, and in this case, this guy doesn't look that strong, but many of my um, clansmates would not be able to handle this person anyway. Um, what I will look for is weak air defense, because my strategy requires weak air defense. Then I see this is their strongest air defense, so I'll probably attack from this side. I will first check to see how much they have in their clan castle, and they have 5 out of 20, which is pretty poor. Um, pretty poor, selfish uh, clan that he has. Um, I always check the corners to make sure that there aren't any uh, stray builder's huts, because sometimes, if I, I remember forgetting one time and then having to deal with that fallout, and uh, uh, not getting three stars because of it. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to attack from this side, and I'm not even going to worry about the clan castle because he's got barely anything in there. Um, and so let's press attack. And what I will do is I will be very patient and wait until all my giants have done their dirty work. Um, I will check the mortar over here because what's going to happen is... Uh, I'm just going to unload right now. And before I even send in any healers, I made sure that I had enough of these um, healer spells. Okay. And let me see. I just got to make sure I'm busting things up properly. Um, again, there. Now I can go ahead and send in my healers. And let's see what else. I should probably attack this little air defense over here. I can ignore that now that they're being defended well. Um, I should probably send in some of these, because if I don't send wizards in, it's going to be kind of... Um, they will be hurting... These little archers will be hurting my... Um, oh, no! They just... Ah! Oh, that one bomb just destroyed a whole bunch of good stuff. All right, whatever. I'm going to send that barbarian king in to do some work. And I will need to blow this wall up right here, and this wall right up here. Um, shoot. I need to worry about this because the healers are the ones that are going to take a lot of damage here, and I need to watch out for here to make sure that... Um, whoa. Oh, good. That got taken care of by um, some of the wizards. And hopefully the wizards will take care of that as well and protect my healers. I'm going to drop a healing spell here because the healers are... Oh, shoot. Yeah. They're occupied with protecting the, war, the um, wizards here. So these guys needed a little extra bit of help. 
Um, what I'm going to need to worry about is not being able to cover the destruction of this stuff right here in time. Oh, come on. And I'm saving just a few of these um, barbarians in case I need to attack things that uh, need to have the wall broken. And if I don't have enough time, then I'll be in trouble. So I needed that last healer spell right there because uh, all my healers died thanks to the clever bombs they'd been putting all over everything. All right. Come on. All right, now I can attack this and this. The reason why I waited so long is because I know these guys would take a long time to break through the walls, but if I put a few of these on the outside, then I'll get to this in time. Come on, destroy it. Yay. See, I timed that perfectly, and um, keeping some reserve troops for being able to get to the outside here gave me a perfect three stars, which is what I was hoping for, and which is what I always go for. And I was able to get that with um, just attacking the recommended um, opponent. So I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching.